So it's time to work on the glaze. I used one bag of semi-sweet chips, and I actually used four tablespoons of butter. And I've melted them together, and it looks like this. Now you wanna make sure it's all melted in. And what's going to happen is I'm slowly gonna add my four ounces of corn syrup. Was loud. And I'm going to add three ounces of whole milk. When you're choosing milk, I do tend to use whole milk when I'm baking because it's got a fat content that can alter the bake. So it looks like this right now, and I'm going to mix it all together. Now you do have to be careful, it will splash out on you. So I usually start in the center, and I get a good consistency in the center. I'm making sure I get to the corners of the pan. And it looks like a hot mess until it doesn't. You want it to be as smooth as possible. So you really do want to beat it. You want that nice smooth consistency because it's gonna get poured over your cake. And what was this clumpy mess before is now this lovely glaze. So that looks like this. And as I pull that cake in, I'm ready to now start to pour it over the top. Making sure my wax paper is still in place. I'm gonna start by putting most of it out. And then I kind of fill in, it's gonna make it a little thicker in the middle, but it makes a nice even top. And then I'm gonna pour around the edges. And it's going to start to drip down those sides, which is what you want. I always leave a little bit in the pan in case I need to fix anything. But then I start to look at what the sides look like. And I just rotate it around. If I need some more to drip over the edges. Pour it around the edges. And then I just kind of push it over the side. And what you're looking for is that nice smooth edge. You can use this glaze to fill in any holes. You can see it needs a little bit more on that edge. Come on. I just kind of push it over the side and then rotate that plate. You do want to work with a little bit of speed because it will start to set. I like to go around one more time just to make sure. And I kind of cut the edge because as this cools, it's going to be put in the refrigerator and you don't want it to stick to the wax paper. 
that wax paper is going to get pulled out eventually. Okay. Now, because I doubled the recipe of the glaze, you can see I still have a little bit left. And what this family likes to do is take a little bit from our shaved off and dip it in. 